Good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and we will be discussing about the quadrangle in this video and we'll be going with more points and also some of the other indications of the defects of few of the lines. We'll be discussing all that in this video. Right now first of all the, the quadrangle is the area defined between the heart line. The top line is known as the heart line and this line is known as the head line. Right. So this area is known as the area of quadrangle right so in this area we get to know whether the person is broad-minded whether the person is a narrow thinker what kind of a person is he we can get to know a lot from that area right if we have a lot of lines here random lines right so that can mean that the person is slightly misunderstood or not very sure it's not a very good indication to have a lot of lines in the quadrangle right it's the normal route for the fate line and the other lines to cross in and if we have a lot of extra lines then it's generally considered not very good it can mean somehow the person is distressed or it can mean the person is misunderstood right now if you see from the heart line a line going and joining the headline or from a headline the line goes and joins the heart line anything can be true so that can further mean that the person is using the logical energies into emotions and emotional energies into head and whereas double lines like these can also mean that the person is prone to being misunderstood right so this is the reading we already know now apart from that see why why do we call you know wh what is the actual meaning of quadrangle is if this area is very narrow right what will it mean is either the headline shifts up and goes like this right so the headline shifts above and it it you know it kind of starts from here and then goes like this so what happens the quadrangle becomes narrow here the normal height is this so this is a good height but if suppose the headline starts going up and then it makes the uh, quadrangle narrow what happens is it is something like the headline got shifted towards the heart line it is like the headline got attracted towards the heart line and these people will be narrow thinkers why they will be narrow thinkers in the sense that heart will dominate because the heart line is attracting the headline right so the this line got moved towards the heart line so this is the area of the heart line you can say from here to here this is the total area of heart line and from here to here it's the headline so you saw the headline getting drifted or is sucked in more towards the heart line so for these people emotions will be very important and they will they might not think from a logical brain and and take more decisions from the heart from the emotions Right, and get carried on by them. Might not be a very rational decision, but it will be a hard decision, will be an emotional decision. Right, same way if the opposite thing is happening, say for example, the headline remains at this position and you see the heart line coming down, right, the heart line comes down. So what happened is that the heart line's relative positioning went down. So which means that the person now was more, more ruled by the head again it's not a very good state of mind because now head is the ruler it wouldn't see emotions it wouldn't see sympathies it wouldn't see anything else the person might become quite cold because the heart line got sucked in towards the headline so it can mean that in this case the person will be more logical but might not give any importance or heed to emotions so both the ways the quadrangle becomes narrow and that's why we say that the person becomes a narrow thinker Right, either, either he is thinking only from the emotions or from only from the logical. For more balanced approach or if we see the quadrangle to be nicely large and well balanced, then that will mean that the person is able to generate good amount of uh, good amount of you know explanations for things he he might be using his both emotional and logical energies in a good and a uh, controlled and a neutral way. right that's what we uh, want the most right so that's the uh, uh, about the quadrangle now the quadrangle can become broad or it can become narrow from place to place for example in this we in this part you can see the quadrangle become broader under the mount of this is the mount of anyone this is the mount of sun actually right so this is the mount of sun so under the mount of sun or the apollo whatever you can call it the 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 wideness of the quadrangle is more now in general when the quadrangle is more broadened right so if it is more broadened the heart line going up and the headline going down that would broaden the quadrangle that can mean that the person is extroverted he is not a narrow thinker but is extroverted 
right more into other people more into wishes of the other people the the self importance kind of goes away right so if the if the quadrangle is broad at the mount of sun it can mean that the person you know somehow even for fame or anything will depend a lot on others right can can become sensitive to the opinions of others advice of others will might follow them blindly right same way if if it if the quadrangle becomes broadened at the mount of saturn that can mean that the person is not very serious about his image because uh, saturn is more about responsibility and uh, you know being serious about life and when the quadrangle is very broad then the person might not be you know self image might go down or maybe the person is not careful about his self image so whenever the quadrangle goes too wide the person becomes too broad minded and to an extent others become more important to an extent the person starts doing things for others right so that's the that's the basic of the quadrangle wherever you see the expansion taking place always remember that the person is becoming uh, or that quality is saturn under saturn so it is more about self respect about seriousness so person will become less in that sun so same way you can see that effect happening right so uh, also you, we learned about the narrow quadrangle what how is narrow mindedness linked right so hopefully in this video you got more points about the quadrangle and about its narrowness and its you know broadness apart from that also remember that a small island on the heart line at the place under apollo and under saturn right so under apollo it can mean some problems to the eyes right and under uh, an island under saturn can mean some problem to the hearing part now even on the headline if you see a island under uh, under saturn then that also means towards some hearing problem again under the mount of apollo it can mean problems to the eyes it's never a guarantee it can also indicate towards emotional upsets or frustrations it might not be a you know a disease to an organ or any any health defect whatsoever but just a matter of caution you should probably consider that under saturn even on heart line or head line it will indicate towards some hearing troubles and under the mount of apollo or sun it can indicate some troubles to the eyes now again going ahead this line is known as the health line right this is referred to as the health line the health line timing as i have always told is from here 0 and 70 like this it goes up right not 70 here it would reach the headlines at 35 goes up till mount of mercury it will reach at 70 so health line i have generally observed that if it is some bottom part of or the starting part of the health line is under defect or some islands then it is more of a trouble of liver or stomach right and if it is going up then it's more of the problem of respiratory tract so you see some island happening here it's more of respiratory tract problem right so that's how we can trace more defects from the health line always remember if the health line is broken or is having a lot of islands the person might be nervous or having disease or having some other uh, problems but if the lifeline is clearly marked and there is no defect on the lifeline the person will come back or will survive but if you see the lifeline also kind of fading away or kind of becoming you know lighter then uh, the 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 problems or the disease might be of a uh, of a stronger nature comparatively right always remember that whenever the fate line is into branches or having small islands dots etc it can indicate towards some kind of problems also remember the color of the palm is also an indication of the type of health disease the person might be having for example if the hand is yellowish in color it can indicate towards excessive bile and bile is generally produced or is secreted in excess when our liver is not functioning properly right thank you i'm shwetang into palmistry in this video hopefully you got few more health indications and also about the quadrangle do check my channel for more shwetang uh, johari Thank you take care bye bye